Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Um, I've got my little pop-up Santa Claus here cranking. There's white sage underneath coming out the coffee cup and the little pot. Um, it's really cute. It So I've had it for years and years. Sometimes it stops working, but right now it's working. So let's see how long it works for. Um, so... It looks like a little, um, well, actually it looks like he's probably drinking, well, he's Santa Claus, so he probably drinks hot chocolate, right? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Um, Tis the season, right? So, spirit and angels, anyone, for the highest good for the 17th, which is this coming Thursday, uh, December 2020. What do we need to know? Uh, obviously, this could resonate on other days, guys, but I'm getting it out there for this coming Thursday for you guys. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Ooh, present power and discovery. Nice. All right, let's get another. Okay, wow, that came out so fast. Teacher and ascended masters. Wow, somebody's dealing with somebody who really um can help them with something. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so we have present power. For me, this is like strength card times 10. All right, uh, it's big. It's big present power discovery so someone's discovering something um teacher this is a person and spirit ascended master so i feel like you could be working with someone who's helping you deal with something let's see what it could be about bottom of the deck lost um professional assistance friends and colleagues family friends and guides okay so i feel like you could be working with uh a, People from the other side, family, friends, and guides came out. That for me is usually having to do with, they're both spirit cards, ascended masters and family, friends, and guides. Um, you're working with someone on the other side. You could even be working with someone physically in this 3D world with the uh, people card coming up as teacher. Um, I feel like you're working with someone who's helping you get past some kind of a loss here. For some of you, this was job loss. For some of you, this was people loss or a person, okay? Um, so there was something that happened here. For some of you, it was both. You lost your job and your person or people um, because of something that happened here. All right. Well, there's something that you're getting to the bottom of with the discovery card, needing to pull on your uh, present power, needing to uh, pull on your inner strength to get through it. I do feel like you're working with guides. You're working with possibly a person uh, that's helping you get through this time. Let's see if we could get a little more information. What else do we need to know here, please? This coming Thursday. What do we need to know about the energy for this coming Thursday? Thinking woman. She's coming out in every single reading. And bottom of the deck, thinking man. No kidding. All right. Let's get a little more information. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Um, you're both. It's coming out the same. Yep. The temple path. Okay. Give me a little more. This is part of somebody's spiritual... Um, that's way too many. Um, this has been part of somebody's um, spiritual journey to go through whatever they're going through right now. Okay, give me one or two more, please. We got thinking woman, thinking man, and temple path. What's going on here? Community and second chakra, archangel, Ariel. All right, so we're talking about the um, sacral chakra. So this could be, you know, this has to do with your sexual desire, your self-worth, your creativity. For some of you, this is definitely about work. Sacral chakra comes out when it's about your creativity and work as well. Um, there's something about your work community, colleagues, friends, people that you work with, community. So whatever this is, this does involve um, other people. It involves other people um, and whether you're male or female, I feel like you're going through the same exact thing. For some of you, um, you could be dealing with a boss. You could be dealing with a coworker. Um, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. For some of you, you absolutely lost a job. And it had to do with some kind of group situation. When I see friends and colleagues and community come out, um, and family, friends, and guides came out as well for your spiritual team. So... I definitely feel like you're working with um, a spiritual group or uh, a person who's 
helping you get in touch with your ascended masters and spiritual group. This all feels like someone helping you um, to connect with your spirit guides, angels, loved ones, um, ascended masters, whoever it is on the other side that's helping you get through something that involved some kind of loss. For most of you, this is going to be a work loss or someone at work that you lost. Uh, this could be that you were involved with a person you work with in a romantic sense and that was lost. Whatever this is, I'm going to go into the thinking woman, thinking man here. Can I have some information on thinking woman and thinking man here together? What do we need to know? Just one or two. Yin Yang and MB. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So Yin Yang. Yin Yang and Envy, male, female, and Envy. So there's something going on here that's not good between this male and female. Um, bottom of the deck, there are adjacent possibilities as well. So someone is going down a different path. Look, indecisions at the bottom as well. All right, so someone has chosen a different path and the other one is not happy at all. This has been a real problem. So there's a problem between the male and female because someone chose a different path, temple path. This is part of their journey. This is the way they were supposed to go or you were supposed to go, whichever one you are. Um, and it's time for you or them to absolutely um, see that for what it is. It's part of your journey, part of your path, part of something. And listen, if you were stuck in a third party situation, which this card often makes me feel, um, and this was somebody at work that you had some kind of professional relationship with or a person that you worked side by side with. This could even be um, a boss. You could be their boss, however it works. Um, this situation was part of your journey, part of their journey. And I feel as though someone took and took a different route. And the other person is not happy with that um, adjacent possibilities MV card coming up. So now this could be male or female because it came out with yin yin yang and it came out with male and female counterparts here the thinking woman thinking man somebody is not happy with the other one all right let's um see what we can find out here i would like to pull just a few um sabilas as well the italian cards if i can find them here here they are all right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading? Conversation, wow, okay. Yeah, so there's some kind of conversation happening, some kind of information coming out or something. Um, the female servant came out as well. So this woman could feel very used in a situation. She could be being used in a situation. Oh my gosh, yes. There's some kind of jealousy about a third party at the bottom. All right, there's some kind of third party situation here. There's a woman in the midst of all this um, who feels very used, very upset, very, look, devastated, despair in this situation. Um, somebody was very false. Falsetta came out as well. All right. I mean, we see it for what it is here. Let's get some after tarot. Find out where it's going. Where is the situation going? There is some kind of conversation coming out. There's definitely with envy and desperato per jealousia. Desperato. I'm sorry. Uh, they are Italian. Desperato per jealousio. Jealousia. I'm sorry. Falsetta and envy and despair someone is so upset about what happened here all right and somebody's very 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 envious of the other person or the other the third person or the first person like i said this could have been someone who was just used for someone's fun for a while and then they went back to their spouse all right give me some um information here what do we need to know about what comes next in the situation high priestess secret secrets right what comes next in the situation please what comes next judgment rule spirits coming down on this situation all right so something's happening judgments here spirit there's someone's getting called to wake up someone needs to wake up in this situation 
secrets, secrets. High Priestess and Judgment. Just one or two, please. What do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this? Yeah, this is definitely a situation where someone was um, wake up call. No doubt about it. This right here is a wake up call. Someone is being awoken, woken up after um, needing to wake up. There's been secrets. There's been lies. Someone wants someone to release something that's been very, very toxic here. Yeah, it was some kind of soul contract. This is very toxic, though. This is a toxic soul contract between two people. Spirit says, please allow this cycle to end. This is, um again, needing clarity. Queen of Swords at the bottom. Somebody is definitely being called to action here, being called to wake up in a situation that was very toxic. This was definitely a third party situation. If you're going to resonate with this reading, this was very third party, murky, false, false twin, false, 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 all the way around. Very murky and dark. Um, and spirit is saying, please wake up. We have, you know, we're trying to have you work with, um, somebody who's trying to help you, possibly someone right here on the 3d. And also we're trying to get you in touch with ascended masters. We're trying to communicate with you. We're trying to bring out the secrets. We're probably trying to get you to see something for who and what it is. Um, for a lot of you, I've been telling you guys, um, I've been dealing with people who are definitely stuck in the dark night of the soul. They can't get through it. And the reason they can't get through it, they're playing it on repeat over and over and over and over and over because they won't see the truth in something. They won't wake up. They won't. They're not doing it. They're not listening to their intuition. They're not listening to spirit who's telling them to please release. They're not seeing this false person for who and what they are. Very toxic. Um, they just are refusing and they're living through dark night of the soul over and over and over and over again because they won't see it and they won't take their part in it. They won't admit their the part they played in it. Uh, they're very desperately jealous of another person who virtually was probably an innocent victim in all this. Uh, this envy, the person that was chosen, I'll bet you was uh, the person that was the per they were either married to or was their girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever that was um, the person that they were with when they cheated. Right. So the the truth is uh, this dark night of the soul that someone stuck in is because they won't see the part they took in it and see the truth in the matter of the innocent victim. Now, could this be the other way around? Sure, flip it if it is, okay? But that's the story that's been coming through a lot for me in personal readings and with people that I've been dealing with. And a lot of them are just now getting awoken because they're just now admitting their part. And a lot of them are still the dog in the hallway. Feet out four ways, not allowing themselves to get into that bathtub. I'm not allowing it. Um, that's, you know, when you try to put a dog into the bathtub and they're the, all paws go out and they're big and lanky paws go out and they can manage to hold you back from walking through that hallway with them in your arms to put them in the bathtub. That's what whoever this reading is for is doing. They are refusing to go through the hallway, go through the dark night of the soul and out the other side because it's going to take, um, acknowledgement it's going to take looking in the mirror it's going to take admitting your part it's going to take a judgment on the self you know for your behavior it's going to take a real wake-up call which means admitting our own faults and apologizing to a person who might have been done dirty that was innocent and the whole thing now could this be the opposite way of course so please just flip it if it is for those of you that dare to admit that this is your reading please um, comment down below um, for others of you who um, are still going to deny what's been going on here, you're still going to be stuck in this dark night of the soul next year, maybe the following year, maybe the following year. You're going to be on repeat over and over and over and over and over until you hear the calling, hear it. The, you've got spirit guides, angels, and possibly someone who you consider a teacher in this life, in this 3D world, trying to tell you, trying to bring you wake-up calls all the way around from spirit to talk to you about releasing something conversation needs to be had here uh there's something going on where someone is very in very much need of dealing with something that happened that was third party and the part that they took in it okay and admitting some truth to themselves to others to 
spirit, God, universe, and doing something about something here, okay? Um, for others of you, you're on the other end of this, and somebody did all this to you, okay? All right, guys, I hope that this made sense. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to grab you a couple of angel cards to see what kind of angelic advice we have here for the collective. Angels, for anyone who will resonate with this reading, what do you want them to focus on or know about, please? On the bottom. Yep, it was a karmic education for sure. It came out right on top. One more. Integrity. Whoa. Whoo-wee. Flexibility. Spirit is saying, wake up. Absolutely. For whoever this is for, Spirit's saying, it's time for you to wake up and release this. We've been trying to get your attention. This is a serious wake-up call coming in. And if you would listen to your intuition, we're trying to tell you it's time to wake up. Be flexible about it and admit your part in it because it's a matter of integrity and you don't get through that tunnel. You don't come out the other side and you are not spiritually awoken until you've received that education, a karmic education in integrity, okay? So somebody here will not come through the tunnel because they won't stand in their integrity and be honest with themselves and take a good long look in the mirror. Now, could it be the opposite? Yes, so please don't kill the messenger. If it's the opposite, just flip it. That means somebody did all this to you. But for the majority of people I've been dealing with lately that are stuck in that tunnel and stuck, unable to awaken and stuck on repeat dark night of the soul over and over and over and over again, it's about integrity. And it's about getting the lesson and getting it the right way, not the way you want it to be. All right. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. I hope it helps somebody out. If you're ballsy enough to comment down below and say this was your reading, please do. Let's connect our energy and stay connected. Okay. Um, and if you need a personal reading, my inf information is directly beneath this video in the description area. Reach out to me by email. Please write in the subject area personal or private reading so I will answer your email because I get hundreds of emails a day and only the ones that are important get answered. Um, I would love to have a reading with you but I don't have anything available till after Christmas now because I am totally booked. There are people coming out of the woodwork who need help getting through things just like this. All right, but get on schedule. Book it because it's just the list is just going to get longer. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.